Hi everyone, welcome back to our support tips and tricks. My name is Rita Zarate and I'm the Hero Support Manager here at Parlevel Systems. In this video, I will show you five tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your vending management system. Let's get started. Tip number one, how to change a VMS user's password or reset your own. Navigate to the settings cogwheel and select users. From this page, search the username and click on the edit pencil icon to the right. Click the set password link and type in your password and the new password for the user. Confirm the new password in the second field. As a note, the password will need to have the correct requirements listed on the right side of the page in order to save. Then save your changes. If you forgot the password to log into your VMS, you can click the Login Problems link in the sign-in page and type your email address to request a password reset. Tip number two, scheduling a product change. To schedule a product change, navigate to the Vending All Machines page and click the Edit Pencil icon to the right of the machine you would like to edit. From the Planogram tab, click on the product you would like to change. Search for the replacement product in the available product search bar on the right and save your changes. To view your scheduled product changes, click the Back to Planogram button. You will see the scheduled product highlighted in red. When the machine is routed, the pre-kit calculation will show the new product and the old product will need to be pulled by the driver. Once the machine has been marked as service, the selection will automatically change to the selected product. As a note, the selection will also need to be unpaired from other selections in the planogram in order for the scheduled product change to go through. If you need an instant product change, remember to check the Force Instant Product Changes box on the bottom left. Tip number three, enable or modify alert group settings. Parlevel has plenty of alert settings to help you monitor all your machines and make sure they are reporting the most up-to-date and accurate data. To enable or modify these settings, navigate to Settings, Vending, Alert Groups. From this page, you can view all your individual alert groups, add a new alert group, drag and drop machines to the appropriate group, remove machines, copy the group settings, edit group name, and delete the group. To view your alert settings for the group, click on the alert icon. To enable the alert or disable, click on the toggle switch. You can also toggle where you would like to see the alert in the VMS and set individual thresholds. Once you have your alert set, save your changes. To view machines with active alerts, navigate to the alert icon on the top right of your VMS. You can use the filter on this page to view a date range of alerts and the description of the alert you're looking for. Tip number four, modify a machine's pre-kit group settings. Navigate to the Vending All Machines page and use the search filters to filter for the machine or group of machines that you would like to change. When you are ready to make your changes, click the Options button and select Edit Pre-kit Group. A blue bar will appear with the pre-kit groups available in the drop-down menu. Select the new group that you would like assigned to the selected machine. A confirmation box will display the amount of machines that will be changed to this new group. If the machine is already assigned to the selected group, no change will be made to that machine. Click OK to confirm. If you want to view or modify the pre-kit groups available, click on the blue pre-kit groups button from the All Machines page. You will see the current pre-kit groups available, add a new group, or modify an existing group. To modify the group settings, click the settings cogwheel to the right of the group name. To modify a product setting in the group, click the settings cogwheel to the right of the product. As a note, if the group setting is set to pre-kit by unit, this will override the individual product settings for that group. From the pre-kit groups page, click on the machine types tab. From here you can specify what pre-kit group you want automatically assigned when a new machine is implemented by its type. Save your changes. Any saved modified settings will be applied to the machine types going forward. Tip number five, delete a machine or set to disconnected. To delete a machine, navigate to the Vending All Machines page. You can use the search filters to search for a machine and click the trash icon to the right of the machine to delete. Click OK to confirm. As a note, once the machine has been deleted, only a support representative can retrieve the machine. If you plan on using the machine again, but need to temporarily disconnect it, you may choose to set the machine to disconnected. To set a machine as disconnected, navigate to the Vending All Machines page, click the Edit Pencil icon to the right of the machine, select the Basic Info tab, and click the Disconnected Machine checkbox under Machine Options. Save your changes. If the machine has a device assigned, you can remove the assigned device for use on another machine, or you can leave the device assigned to the disconnected machine. 
To view the machine again, navigate to the Vending All Machines page and use the filter drop down box and select Disconnected. This will show you all the machines that have been set as disconnected in your system. The Disconnected Machine option can be used for machines that will be temporarily out of service, moved back to your warehouse, or not in use for the season. A disconnected machine also cannot be routed and you will not be billed for machines set as disconnected. Thanks for joining us for these support tips and tricks. This information will help you run your operation even more smoothly. Have any suggestions you would like to see covered? Let us know. Thank you for choosing Carlobal.